Was it the three uh, body problem? Did you watch that? The three body problem. What's yeah, that? it's a movie that came out. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> close. Uh, close thing says uh, pro holding down the fort. <laughs> one of the few people I could count on actually, uh, you know, hold it down when I walk out. So I, I appreciate it. A lot of people are like, "Hey, talk to each other." And like, uh, <laughs> no, I can, just, I, I can just put me in a room and talk to myself. Yeah, you know? that's perfect. No, a lot of practice. Some psycho. Um, <laughs> the uh, but yeah, that was awesome to have uh, Ken in here. Oh man, I love it. Yeah, we definitely. I have to have him come back again. Yeah. Um, yeah, the uh, three. You must not have watched. It's on Netflix. Three Body Problem. Nah. Man, you probably it's great. You should What's watch it. About? it. Um, Tell me about it. It's super complex. So Sell stuff, it I'll to say, me. I'll just say so. There's aliens. Ooh, that's what I'm trying to think because that's kind of a spoiler. Like a scary you looking, like you don't like, see like, the aliens. Like, like bug looking aliens. You or don't like, see them. Season no, one. We don't see them. You just see them. They take on another form, and there's a Ooh. there's a scene where they're like Skinwalkers. They ask. They're like, show me what you really look like. And they're like, you wouldn't like it. So no. Um, yeah. <laughs> like what the fuck does that mean? Which yeah. is actually a great tactic for a filmmaker or a series maker or whatever, because then to it, give more time, and it. also our imagination plays with that. So we're ooh, and then check uh, X or because we were like, oh, I, I wonder if it's going to look like this. Oh, yeah, and yeah. then you get all these ideas that you can just exactly. legally steal from. Well, and what's well, it's a book, <laughs> so they probably already have a little oh, bit of like okay. what they need to go. But no, I mean that's actually a great point because just like Game of Thrones, a lot of what made people go crazy about that was the online speculation, the clues, and people, oh, yeah. and then also book readers that would go online and like give you some, yeah. you know, sneak reviews. Um, but yeah, so this is about aliens make contact with Earth. That's a little bit of a spoiler, but it's like episode one spoiler, um, and they're coming to Earth. And there's a long time. There's 400 year timetable. I don't Ooh. think that's really much of a spoiler. You don't know it right away, but it doesn't. I mean, that is so what throughout the whole, season. There's a 400 year no, window, or you don't just, see it all. You just know. So the aliens communicate and they tell the people. They're like, "Hey, we're coming. It'll take us. We're four light years away. So it'll take us 400 years, years okay. to get there." Um, but it ends up being Damn, a real, who, who is in charge of relaying that message? Huh? Imagine that one got forgotten. Yeah, well, over four hundred years. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> well, it ends up being like there's a lady that is communicating. It's interesting because it actually initially deals with like communist China, like Mao era. Okay. So you see like uh, some sh some like basically they're banning the teachings of Albert Einstein, and this is based it. So the series is is tightly connected to physics. The three body problem literally is a physics question like a physics paradox or whatever okay um talking about like the gravitational pull of three different things and getting caught up in one another's field and shit like that so it's kind of heady it's it's a little you know gets deep and shit uh which i like there's some subtext there and uh i really actually so the first four episodes were kind of rough and i had a hard time with it I kept falling asleep and shit um but the back half of the season there's eight episodes the last four episodes were awesome in my opinion really a ton of payoff um some storylines i think really came together there's a little bit of a love story which i'm not like huge on but they did it great i thought it was really touching um and yeah i would say definitely i, I would recommend check it out i'd love to talk about it with you yeah um, i'd love to check it out on I'll saturday i was supposed to do did a, you finish a, quiet um, on set Oh fuck no! I started watching this because I, <laughs> I was supposed to do this on Saturday, so I watched. I, I watched like four episodes of this on Saturday. And has all of Quiet on the set came out? I thought or did they have more than the four yeah, more, episodes? More oh shit! Have um, you seen uh, like the Skinwalker Ranch stuff on, uh, that they've had on Netflix? No, but I've, I, I mean, I've seen that it's there, but I haven't watched it. Oh, that's all. I know a little bit about Skinwalker Ranch. I don't know if it's about that specifically or if it's kind of like it's just bigger... it's just pretty cool because there's like some like weird metal that's in like the mountain and also like throughout the ranch and it kind of is like like uh, electromagnetic. There's obviously been so, like claims of ufo sightings and alien sightings and this alien that's like a shapeshifter that goes all the way back to like um what's the there's oops and then what's the other i forget the other uh native tribe that was out there at that time um that that they have a lot of like depictions of and stories of so um but it's basically just aliens who they shapeshift and they are wolves they're different types of things wow. and now there's tiktok you can go on tiktok and see like oh, people like oh this is a skinwalker and there are some like interesting things yeah. but uh that 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 whole thing was kind of like eerie, but you kind yeah. of reminded me of it with like the aliens are, they're yeah. not going to show themselves. Yeah, but it's so it's not necessarily quite like that. But I but think, they, I think they act as people and shit. No, I think that's a possibility. To be honest, the thing is, nobody has told you that they're an alien. 
that's on the planet. But I think what you're talking about is a possibility. There's a possibility that aliens are already there. Well, um, I mean, who who knows if aliens aren't like looking like this? Like, I mean, there like, yeah. apparently there's this planet that they again. Who knows? This could. I try to look it up on Google. I only yeah. found one article. Um, but uh, seven. Tr- <laughs> Was it seven trillion miles away or some shit? There's some I there's some planet they found with lights, lights on it, I heard and it's that. like okay, which again, that's the argument is always like, what is an alien? So I mean, I hey, yeah. it's interesting. I always like to see people's artistic take. The alien movie I will not watch is uh, what's that fucking um, Ryan Reynolds one, Quiet Place. That's Quiet not Ryan place? Reynolds. That's uh. I think his name's like John Krantz. Oh, oh, J- like J- John Krasinski and his Krasinski, wife. Yeah, yeah, Emily Blunt. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh, uh, his is a uh, ah, dude. That movie looks fucking terrifying. Oh, it's pretty wild. Have I've you, seen that. I haven't seen the, the, the third one one's coming out. So cool, I've only seen the first one. It was pretty good. God. Um, yeah, I mean, with this one, so you, so it's all. It's interesting because the aliens are not on Earth yet, as far like as far as you know. Four hundred years, yeah. Four hundred years, they're heading this way because their planet's kind of fucked, so they're heading this way, and they're like, they're honestly <laughs> like we're coming to basically take this. Shit so the anticipation, wow. But you know, it's inter- This is kind of spoiling a little bit, but I think this was one of the things that made the show most interesting because it made it really unique. Um, the aliens end up communicating with the people, and they say like essentially they're very like they can't lie essentially that's what they right. tell you they say we can't lie and they actually stop fucking with some of their followers that like worship them like gods they call them like my lord and shit one of them reads them a story of the little red riding hood of the you know wolf and shit and the aliens like why doesn't the wolf just eat her basically like why is it just do the easiest thing it could eat her easily why is it lying why is it lying and uh that's alarming yeah, it's like, why does it lie about its eyes? Why does it lie about that? And she's like, do you guys, do you do this? And he's like, well, I guess. And then he tells her, like, she, he's like, the, the alien's like, so is the story little red? No, she says, where are they? And he's like, oh, this isn't real. This didn't happen. This is a story. And she's like, okay, so our stories lies, all lies. And then he's like, well, I guess it is. And at that point, she's like, I won't talk to you because we're afraid of you. Because they're like, we don't even understand the concept of lying. Oh, the um, alien. The alien. Oh, that's like, it, that's so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. So and they were protecting this group. They were like a, a so cult. All, so while they're on their way, they're having communication. They are having communication through like these boxes, and also they can see everything that's happening because they explain how they have these like these like basically like cameras that are the size of like particles or whatever that, that, they that, that can move. Ahead. They sent them way ahead. Mm. So they're like, literally we can see everything that you guys are doing. We're everywhere. They move so fast that we can be on one side of the earth and be on the other side within seconds. I love um, stuff. So it's, it's interesting. Cause also when the, when the uh, people on earth are planning, they are planning with the knowledge. Cause they tell them they're, they're like, we know that which they all this could be a lie. They're like, true. Well, if they if they can in fact lie. Um, but they're going with the premise right now that they, that can't, they lie. can't lie. They can't yeah. Lie. So yeah, maybe that's bullshit from the very beginning. Yes. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting. Um, but so yeah, they're doing everything that they're doing with knowledge that they can see what they're doing. So it's very interesting. That's very that is yeah. very interesting. When they're making so, plans in rooms with one another, they know that there's more than likely, especially what the main characters are doing, because they're yeah. like doing shit to counteract the now things. and this whole movie i mean uh series is taking place throughout the 400 years or just in yeah. one time period sure that's will. at the end of the four i think it will eventually but the first season was just like modern day and then like 50 years it shows fi- shit from 50 years ago when they first made contact with aliens or however long it was right uh, so i guess that's my question is like the people that we're seeing prepared today yeah are they Preparing for the for aliens to come within. Spoiler the alert! Well, so we're. Well, okay, okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. There's no way to not. This spoil isn't that right. big of a deal because I mean, like, because 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 I'm trying to get the setting. Yeah, like, like so. The there's one the guy. There's one guy that is like in charge of everything. Uh, for like the scientist, the American scientist or whatever. Um, but uh, so he actually, it's interesting because they address that, and he says that he's going to be frozen. And he'll be like basically unfold or whatever for one week every year for the next 400 years because he's like there has to be a consistent oversight of this project. I so like on that. And so forth. Yeah. Okay. Um, so and, he's Jesus now. Uh, well, not well. Get him, so no. well, he, everybody really hates him because he is just. It's it's interesting because it really challenges your like who are the good guys type shit like this is no, a human. Yeah. you're on side human but it's like some of the shit that he does because they are counteracting an imminent threat an imminent threat so they're yes. like hey anything is is that go. you don't know the size of you don't know the body sure. the, the, the the exoskeleton you don't know anything about yeah and then 
are they going to be the same beings 400 years from now that you're speaking to or do they yeah. have a like do they die i over think i think they age? i think they could freeze as well but oh, man, um and like going like some cryogenic oh, kind of a, thing but just, so i think that one of the things that was the most interesting uh things in the series to me because i hadn't seen this kind of addressed before was uh the aliens get in contact i don't remember who they're talking to but essentially they kind of break down the development of like the human race they're like hey it took you four thousand years to develop this then it took you a thousand years to develop this then it took you 500 years to do this it took you 50 years then like between the difference between like the industrial age and the information age is like small like uh, 40 years well that that goes into real life which is like how did we sure. just make this jump so fast without well, sure but so this is i think unless there's maybe like hey there's an alien connection to that but i think what they're saying is just like the exponential kind of like really quick growth that we're having with technology and they say this explicitly they say because technology is starting to progress so quickly by the time they get to earth in 400 years we'll actually be more advanced than they are now because they can't advance while they're, they're not flying. Advancing. Oh, yeah they're not advancing. interesting yeah so that was an interesting kind of issue because then it makes it where That's at first forethought. at first you're really thinking like there's no way can that they can up. defend themselves against these aliens that are space traveling literally have uh, computers that are the size of fucking neurons and well, shit. Little do they know that we will destroy the planet with. <laughs> well, exactly, exactly. But they're, they're, I don't, I don't know if they're taking, I don't know no, if they're I taking that into consideration. I but they know. do literally to say they are the ones that say like you guys will surpass us and you'll easily destroy our fleet when we get there. Ooh, but, that's uh, yeah, again, so that's you have to listen. You have to believe. So I like that. I like that. So yeah, again, check it out. It was great. It was so great. do you? So you believe in aliens? Uh, I do. Well, I think more more than likely. Yeah. yeah that. Sure. That. Um, do you think that this thing uh, it, it seems honestly pretty pretty seemingly realistic as far as like a sci-fi show do you agree with that so, or yeah. is it like more sci-fi than so for the first it was interesting because like i said i didn't like the first four episodes so for, after the first four episodes <laughs> you stuck on through the first well i was gonna damn. review it so i was like okay yeah, yeah, at yeah. first i was like oh, i'm gonna hey, shit on minute. this this is boring because da, 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 da. i felt like at first the show was more science than fiction. If I, if I guess I was going to say, okay. it got way too like wrapped up in all the science behind it and like making sure that the, the shit was plausible in some too way. Too many sci-fi like yeah, critics. It's like, dude, I really just want to like see this cool shit. Like, this, and I mean, the, the explanations are cool, and it makes like the certain th like ideas that they introduce even more like tangible and interesting. So I like so that. It's so it's a necessity. Yeah, but yeah, it's like, but, uh, and also it's a new show. So yeah, it's like I don't yeah. want to judge it off the first four. They're trying to get you to even remember the characters' fucking names. You know what I mean? So it's like, <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, I understand. You know, that's just gonna inherently be a slower uh, burn. In the the in the China shit is kind of cool. Like seeing the old China shit, just oh, being cool. old China on TV or is kind of interesting. You know, we don't see a ton of yeah. that in American television. So seeing that depicted, I mean, and it's at the very beginning. It's so fucking brutal, bro. When you see um, this lady's dad is teaching people against the wishes of the Chinese government uh, the theory of relativity. So he gets like basically like put in like a guillotine it's not a guillotine but the equivalent of something like that yeah. and he's like they're like denounce the teachings of albert einstein it's fake that it's not whatever and uh, also denounce that there's any possibility for a uh god uh, because china is also oh. famously not religious the atheist state um so this is kind of where this is uh, this is stemming from and he as a scientist he's like as a scientist i can't say emphatically that there isn't a god so i can't say that and then also he's like the theory of relativity is a shit i love that um and they have his wife there and who's also a scientist fucking cold-blooded make her denounce those things on stage in front of him fucking humiliate just break his heart and humiliate him um and then you know they go through with whatever you know it, it, it gets wild but um yeah, Damn, so she does it. Huh? She she betrays. I'm her pretty husband. sure she does. If I remember fuck. right, yeah, she's like, I'm not gonna die. Um, well, have to at that point. <laughs> she might honestly. They might take her away. I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember a happy ending for her. She's gonna keep you alive, yeah. huh? I definitely don't remember You're a happy special. ending for her. They do end up keeping her daughter and the daughter, his daughter rather, and or, and her daughter, and uh, that's one of the main characters that you actually follow. Okay. Um, she's the one that actually makes contact with aliens because she hates the fucking she hates humans so much because what they did to her family she's like we can't even run this shit she's like even if aliens come it'll be better than what the fuck we're we have going on right now yeah. um so she makes that decision it's interesting because how they do it is they point the radio uh signal at the sun to amplify it and that's how they get it to amplify and they literally tell her like don't do that do what's normal they're already sending messages out but she ends up figuring out if i aim it at the sun it'll amplify the signal and it'll get to where it needs to go 
and they're like, don't do that shit. She tries to explain Who's it. saying that the aliens or the government? No, Chinese people. Chinese people. Yeah, and they're, uh, uh, even like she has a superior that she tells this idea to, and he like steals the idea and goes to the higher ups, and they're like, do not fucking do that. Like basically like destroy, yeah, just shits on them. Wow. And says like, basically, <laughs> I know why this stupid bitch would have this dumb ass idea. But why are you? A tra- I mean, her father was a traitor, but yeah, why the fuck are you bringing this shit to my attention and all that? Um, so great, great show. Um, definitely gave you a lot of the like, outline for the characters and stuff but um definitely really interesting um that you are start you know i won't give you too much but it ends up getting to a point where there's these things uh called the wall facers and these are humans that they're gonna deem wall facers and they uh uh basically what their job is and so they don't so the aliens can't get the communication they pick three people that are like highly highly qualified and those people can tell people to do anything they want Nobody can question it. Nobody can ask them why. They don't have to tell anybody their okay. reasoning. And all this is so they have it all in their mind. And I guess the idea is that these three people, and they can't even talk to each other about their plans. So I guess the hope is that they're all going to think similarly and come together with some, you know, great this idea. Is, at the end. Again, China or mankind? No, this is this is like the United Nations at right, this point. Yeah. yeah, this is modern day. We're responding to uh, uh, the alien threat and shit. Um, but yeah, great shit. Very Definitely check it out. I would yeah, love to. Worth, I love a review. Of watch. You. Yeah, I, your lady might like it. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure if yeah, she's in stuff see. like that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it was a good show for us. It was a little, I think, a little maybe heady for my woman, where she was kind of like, but also I think it was because it's something you have to pay attention to. So she's like, she missed certain things, and she was like, I like it, but there's some of the shit I don't understand how we fucking got here. Um, have, have you seen The Good Place with Kristen Bell? I haven't no. Yeah. Christian Bale, no. no, 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 Kristen Bell, Kristen Bell, no, that girl, yeah, I know, you're yeah, no, no, um, the lady from, uh, yeah, I know, you're yeah. Yeah, yeah, forget Sarah Marshall, yep, yep. um, yeah, no, I don't know, I was just, is that new? Nah, I don't think it's new, okay, I think it's been around a little bit, but uh, basically, she's, <laughs> she, she just like dies, goes to the good place, which is heaven, and then uh, you yeah. find out that like the guy, Michael, that's running is just like an architect that just like built the city. She's not supposed to be there. She's actually not a good person. And oh, she, sure. their name's right, but her identity's wrong. So now she's trying to like stay in. And like Michael, like he won't show you like what he really looks like. Like, like when you say like you don't want to see, that's mm-hmm. literally like verbatim what he says. They're like, what do you really look like? He's like, you don't want to know. Yeah. And then like this goes, but like it's just one of those shows that's kind of like makes you think where it's like, okay, is she like really like, is she going to get sent out or is it like, he's testing her to like make her like see if she's worth staying because mm. maybe she's a good person deep down, but reality, like she's just not they, like do flashbacks of like all like the shitty things she kind of has done in her life. Is it a TV show? Yeah, it's a TV okay. show. It's like a little sitcom. It's all right. Like we just start watching, yeah. but you kind of just like, it's like a lighthearted version of that, I guess yeah, yeah. in a sort of way. But yeah, no, it was just, uh, I was just wondering, yeah. like that's like kind of like Actually, one of the, because we watch, I said this before, we watch so many of like the survive, like right now we got survivor, amazing race, the deal or no deal. That's on right now, and it's like mm-hmm. it's hard to get to like narrative. It, it, then it's like because that's Tuesday, Wednesday, which we got this, and then sure. Wednesday, Thursday, and then it's like all right, then some the Friday, and then there's always some like trash thing that we'll watch. And <laughs> she got her fucking Teen Mom reunion <laughs> party thing is on right now. How are those ladies doing? Yep. So <laughs> pretty great. Um, no, it's uh, honestly, I like, I like, I'm not gonna lie. I got to do like the, so when you take away the Farah, yeah, chick, um, I actually have some like posts from years ago about, uh, the one with a B, I forget her name, but like mm-hmm. take her away. Like some of these, there's like attention seekers and like you get down to like these real, like this group are like the real parents who really sure. care. Um, it's interesting. The girl McKenzie, who's gotten in trouble for like saying like, uh racist things and things about like just just this uh <clears throat> insensitive things about black people and stuff like that yeah she actually just showed up with a jamaican boyfriend which that's kind of like oh sure oh you left the dude that was like real country and i was like oh here's like another world mm-hmm. and then oh it's cool but uh one of the guys from the challenge his he's on there and it's like he got the one girl pregnant and then got and oh is it Corey? yeah no, it's just one little drop. And then his girlfriend, like on, like he's never married, and like she, they have other kids. I think so, I saw yeah, so it's just like all this drama, and it's it's again. Yeah. I'm always down for some drama. Well, I think it's. it's a, I'm always like, so what's going on? But it yeah. is trash. I think. Yeah, I mean, it's so bad. You're honest about that, and I think that <laughs> it's. Uh, 
like I, like I was talking about with the uh, three body problem, it's that's something you have to really lock in for. Like if it's a reality show, you could step away for 30 minutes, mm -hmm. do whatever you need to do in the kitchen or something, come back and like you really haven't missed too much. Yeah. You know, it's still the same people on TV. Not much has changed. They didn't all of a sudden figure out that fucking aliens exist or some shit. Like, yeah. A, a, a three, three body problem. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, your entire cliffhanger is yeah. ruined. Three, <laughs> three body problem. Literally, you come back and you're like, hold fuck. on. So what the fuck? They were bleaking the stars. Yeah. That happens, bro. Fuck. Man, yeah. and the, uh, you go on TikTok and like episodes obviously continue on TikTok because you got oh, okay, the people cool. on the episodes who are now like on TikTok a podcast people. who yeah. are now like, oh yeah, we're talking about this episode. So yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. again, I like all that. I like the challenge that's gonna come back, all that stuff. Master Chef, mm -hmm. Hell's Kitchen. You know. Um, but it's just tough. I do like the narrative TV shows, but yeah. I got to get over the fact that Netflix does have good stuff. Yeah, I mean, and like it's mostly bullshit. There's a yeah. lot of bad. Yeah, it's so it's a lot. Bullshit. I'm just like, oh fuck. I, yeah. I have X amount of time. So for this show, it seems like yeah. legit. Well, somebody told me that the book was really good. So okay. then that's what made me check out the show. Um, and then like I said, I was really I, I was genuinely impressed with it by the time I finished it. So just give it have some patience with it. Three body problem. Uh maybe after you watch it, we'll get into it. I I already had a, like I said on Saturday, I was supposed to do a review on it. So I am gonna do a full review on it at some point. Hopefully I'll have